First coat. <laughs> First, let's start off with... Ah. Let's start off with some WWE news. Shane McMahon returned. This marks his return to the ring after a pretty hefty absence. And I'll not do the dance before you ask because I saw King Ross do it and that was pretty bad. And then I saw Adam Blombier do it and that was... I mean, words fail me, really. We did then learn that Shane will be facing none other than The Undertaker at WrestleMania, but is it just me or does something seem a little fishy about that? In a thinly veiled attempt to counter the inevitable wave of smarky outrage that followed Roman Reigns' victory at Fastlane, WWE then announced that Shinsuke Nakamura had finally signed an NXT contract. Nakamura then announced that he'd be happy to have a rematch with none other than Brock Lesnar at some point in his career. And finally, WWE have confirmed that The Godfather is going into the Hall of Fame. I'm not sure about you, but I'm, I'm really not certain how they're gonna get that gimmick across in the PG era. Are they gonna say, like, he was a, a friendly man, he had lots, lots of friends, and they all danced down to the ring with him. He was kind of like Adam Rose, basically. And now, news from elsewhere in the wrestling world. Ring of Honor have confirmed the card for their 14th anniversary show tomorrow, and it is absolutely stacked. Some of the highlights include the Ring of Honor title match, Jay Lethal versus Adam Cole versus Kyle O'Reilly. That'll be incredible. For the TV title, Tomohiro Ishii, the stone pipple of New Japan Pro Wrestling versus Roderick Strong versus Bobby Fish. That Again, that'll be amazing. You might notice the theme here. IWGP champion Okada versus Moose. You know, if you've not seen Moose, he's... And my personal favorite, if it's given enough time, Christopher Daniels versus one of my favorite indie wrestlers of all time. And this isn't a joke, Alex Shelley. Next up, uh, ratings woes for Lucha Underground, who slipped from 152,000 viewers last week to just 99,000 this week. Now, in fairness, 99,000 views is still a hell of a lot for an up-and-coming promotion, just in its second season, remember? And they've still got a whole load of storylines to explore, they've still got Rey Mysterio to debut, and all in all, I don't think this is as bad as it sounds. And finally, they're my favourites. They should be your favourites if they're not already. The Young Bucks and Kenny Omega have confirmed that they are calling out the New Day. In an interview with Rolling Stone magazine, Omega confirmed that while he was against the idea of working for WWE, he was more than open with the idea of working with the company. Now, it remains to be seen whether Vince McMahon will take this idea on board. It is quite out there for Vince McMahon. But remember, Triple H has grown in influence and he seems to be a far more far more forward-thinking kind of promoter. And finally, it's time for this week's takeaways. Now, was it just me, or was Roman Reigns' nose thing completely comical? I mean, who in their right mind would mock up a facial injury using makeup to try and sort of gain sympathy from a global audience? Secondly, uh, we're heading back to Shane McMahon for a second, because something's clearly going down at WrestleMania. As strange as it sounds, Shane has to be considered the favourite for this match, purely because an Undertaker win wouldn't move the storyline along any further. Because you see, here's the thing. If Shane wins, that could change the whole face of Monday Night Raw. And it could even change the whole face of the company itself. And finally, I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm not quite as clean-cut, innocent and infantile as normal because of this. Now, obviously Fastlane didn't go too well for Pachiti Club. Well, I mean, Obviously, Pachiti Club is just me now because some people are traitors, but rest assured, I'm still going to fight for Adam Pachiti's honour. I don't know if you've noticed this already, but I am rocking this brand new Pachiti Head t-shirt. Some of us might have, you know, fallen by the wayside or lost their loyalty or super kicked their friends in the head or whatever it is, whatever it is. Some of us are still very much loyal to the ways of Adam Pachiti. So as you know, Pachiti's still out of action, but I have spoken with him and he reassured me that he is disgusted. Like many of you have been on social media, he is disgusted that Pachiti Club, or certain members of Pachiti Club, betrayed him in his hour of need. I'm still very much loyal, and not just to Adam Pachiti, and not just to myself, but I'm loyal for the millions and millions of Pachiti Club members worldwide. This has been Jack from whatculture.com, and you've been watching The Fast Count.